First, let's talk about GCP cost. When deploying applications in GCP VPC, customers incur attachment costs as well as additional charges for data transfer over these attachments. However, some customers overlook these costs, only considering the base pricing visible on the GCP console. Delving deeper reveals additional charges. For example, charges for network telemetry, VPC flow log charges, firewall rule logging charges, per hour charge for NAT gateway, data processing charges for NAT gateway, etc. Google has published the pricing on their website, but it is very difficult to determine what the final cost might be. So not easy to budget. When you look at the GCP bill, it will be extremely difficult to determine where all these charges are coming from. Is it from the networking team, security team, app team, etc.? In contrast, Aviatrix does not impose charges for data throughput. Customers only pay for attachments. Flow analysis, log analysis, and storage are all included as part of the Aviatrix license, offering a more transparent pricing structure. GCP Cloud Interconnect Service, or Circuit, allows you to connect your GCP cloud to the on-premises network. However, it doesn't offer end-to-end -end IPsec encryption. While it does have MacSAC encryption, which is hop-by-hop -hop encryption, some audit or compliance teams may find this inadequate and prefer IPsec encryption. Line rate IPsec encryption over GCP interconnect could pose limitations as GCP would restrict that throughput somewhere between 1 to 3 gigabits per second. For instance, if you purchase a 10 gig circuit and want to use IPsec encryption on GCP cloud interconnect, you'll get only 1 to 3 gigabits per second throughput due to limitations in cloud software. Aviatrix offers a patented technology that enables customers to use Google Cloud Interconnect and achieve nearline rate IPsec encrypted throughput without bandwidth degradation. Let's cover the requirements of using, or preference for using, tools such as packet capture, TCP dump, trace route, ping, etc. with GCP. While the GCP provides tooling to troubleshoot networking issues, common industry tools like ping, packet capture, and TCP dump, readily available on routers and firewall devices, are not accessible. Packet mirroring is available, but you have to pay per gigabytes charges for it. The GCP connectivity test is a ping type tool, part of the GCP Network Intelligence Center, but you have to pay 15 cents per test if you pay more than 20 times in a month. Aviatrix offers a distinct advantage in this regard. As a dedicated instance, Aviatrix provides deeper visibility and access to familiar tools commonly used in on-premises environments without any extra charge. Overlapping IP or overlapping CIDR or overlapping subnet issue is a significant obstacle in the industry, but it is not specific to GCP. When networks have overlapping IP addresses, they cannot communicate. GCP does not allow creation of overlapping IP subnets, but there are cases when enterprise need island VPCs with the overlapping subnet ranges. Some CSPs suggest changing IP addresses as a best practice when connecting to on-prem or third-party resources, but this isn't always feasible in practical enterprise scenarios. For example, in industries like payment processing, partners connect from various IP addresses, potentially overlapping with those in the server or network. Therefore, Aviatrix heavily invested in solving this issue and provides a patented technology called MapNet to elegantly and seamlessly solve this pain point.